Paul Nicholson, Taxpayers Against Poverty. I live up in uh, Tottenham, uh, I, near the football ground. Uh, I'm an Arsenal supporter. Uh, we, we started the Thousand Mothers March because we need to support the mothers, particularly the single mothers who live alone and have to cope with the persistent denigration by this dreadful government of who they are, what they do, and the important job they have of looking after their children. It's supported by Defend Council Housing, by the local trade unions, by the London region of the National Pensioners Convention, by Unison, and indeed, I'm glad to say, by the local churches. All the local churches are getting behind the Thousand Mothers March. The 13th of April, 11 o'clock. If anybody's seen the pictures of the, of the, the blockades outside people's houses over evictions in Spain down at the minute, we need to learn that. Not a single working class family should lose their homes because of these vicious legislation that is being pushed through. In, in Haringey we will be taking on the £500 cap. Uh, Haringey Solidarity Group are already going for it. Uh, that will be on top of the bedroom tax, the housing benefit cap and to be taking rent out of the incomes of the people need for food, for fuel, and for all other necessities. And on top of that, the local authority has decided it's going to tax with 20%, with council tax, the same income that cannot pay the rent. It will be impossible for many of the 26,000, if not all the 26,000, who are currently not paying council tax, to pay the 20% that's been asked by the council. What we need is far more council housing being built and Ian Duncan Smith should tell us exactly how many extra houses and extra bedrooms he has and he should have amounts deducted from his MP's salary for every extra bedroom. So we have this extraordinary situation where the free market in property allows uh, any number of foreign investors to buy London bank bonuses to buy London, London homes at that, and leave them empty. Yeah. And, and the contrary to that, uh, you've got the housing benefit tax with the very poorest tenants being taxed effectively for having spare bedrooms. Uh, what was said about Ian Duncan Smith's house uh, should immediately be implemented in my view. I, do, I want to see more councils, unions like Camden, where the, the housing workers in the union unison have agreed that they will not evict people that are going to be evicted as a result of benefit cuts. Instead of where I live in here, where the council tried to deal with the problem of the housing benefit cuts by deporting its 500 poorest families 180 miles north to Stoke-on-Trent. So therefore these are the solutions that are in front of us and the kind of solutions that are going to be found are going to be down to what kind of resistance we're able to build. <laughs> I don't think this government has a single idea of what the meaning of fair is. No, so I have sent a Bible to 10 Downing Street. <laughs> it's taken to the street, it's not being invisible, it's not being put away in boxes by the Daily Mail and the rest of them. But the other thing which is really important is the role the unions can play yeah. in this situation. It will be unionised workers who are being asked to pass through the stuff through the councils to throw people out. It will be PCS members who are being foot pushed to try to pass these, these attacks through. And we know that, that these unionised workers do not want to cooperate with these things. They want to fight alongside claimants and we have to stop the idea that there are divisions between people claiming or those who are protesting the claim. We are all part of the same class. We all have to stick together. Uh, and I'm sending a dictionary to the Department of Work and Pensions. <laughs> I'm going to deliver it by hand and I hope you'll come and help me. We need a politics of hope, not a politics of despair that blames immigrants or Muslims or the next convenient scapegoat. We need a politics that can bring us together and point to the real enemy.